Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, folks, we've had a typhoon that's crashed into Tokyo, and this strong typhoon packing heavy rain, wind, and has struck near Tokyo, grounding hundreds of domestic flights. Also, Typhoon Mundula made landfall <clears throat> and uh, about 50 miles southeast of the capital of Japan, Tokyo. The storm packed gust of 112 miles an hour and was headed north at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. The Japan Meteorological Agency is telling us. Now, officials have warned of landslides and flooding, all right, because you got steep mountain ranges coming into sharp valleys, heavy rain. That's a recipe for a flash flooding <clears throat> and mudslides and landslides, all right? So uh, in Tokyo, please, they say, exercise caution for these landslides, flooding in low-lying areas, surging rivers, violent winds, and high waves, all being predicted by the Japanese weather agencies. And there were no official reports of casualties. However, local media reports say at least two people are feared dead. And of course, it's too early to get the reports in right now because there's power outages, there's storm surging, flood raging, and potential landslides. We do know the storm has caused airline, uh, uh, airlines across the country to cancel about 400 domestic flights, according to local media, with the majority going to and from Tokyo Airport. In the afternoon, the International Airport briefly closed its t runways totally, even for international flights, all right? So, we'll keep a close eye on what's going on in Japan. We've talked about this. Folks, here's the story, though. This is the first of three hurricane or typhoons headed toward Japan. There's two more on their way right now. One up in the northern portion, one in the southern portion. This one was in the middle, and it hits first and goes right for the heart of Japan there in Tokyo. I'll be back with more current world events because there's three hurricanes threatening the east coast of the United States. Two of them expected to hit landfall the same day, August 30th, eight days from today. One in the northeast, one in the Carolinas, and then a third hurricane coasting behind. What does this all mean, folks? The seas and the waves are roaring. Now remember the scripture in Luke chapter 21, verse 25. For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man, coming in the clouds of power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he says, look up, lift up your head for your redemption drawing nigh. I'll be back with more current world events and our live broadcast at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com. Also right here live on this YouTube channel.